Violence in Syria continuing to spiral out of control. The United States is now accusing Russia openly of supplying Syria with attack helicopters. At the same time, the U.S. is denying claims that it is supporting the Free Syrian Army in the country. Meanwhile, a United Nations official says the conflict is now an all-out civil war in Syria. Still, the regime in Damascus continues to insist the crisis is all the work of terrorists. For more on this, we are joined from Montreal by Faisal Alazem with the Syrian Canadian Council. So, uh, Faisal, what, what would you call what's going on in Syria? Is it a civil war? A civil war would be defined as civilians in a society killing each other. And what's been happening in Syria for more than a year now is regime forces and paramilitary troops committing crimes against humanity and repressing the Syrian people for uh, standing up for their basic human human demands. Faisal, this is the situation in Syria. Faisal, what are you hearing from friends and family who are still in Syria about what day-to-day -day life has become? Day-to-day -day life is, is almost hell, uh, depending on who, uh, which area you're talking to. But in Hamas, the situation is, uh, is uh, really catastrophic. The humanitarian situation is really bad. There is reports of the plague starting to uh, propagate in this city because the city is completely under siege. A couple of days ago, we had a family friend that was working for uh, the Red Crescent that was assassinated. So even humanitarian missions are being targeted uh, in Syria. And this, of course, is one of the points that was part of the UN uh, Anan plan, which is to allow humanitarian aid to enter to uh, to Syria to cities that are uh, that are in a disastrous situation and not even humanitarian aid is being allowed by the regime what action do you want to see from the international communities well in international law or in law enforcement rules for each um, for for 300 100 or 350 civilians you have one law enforcement officer in Syria after 17,000 martyrs what we get is 300 observers observing and documenting uh, the crimes of the Assad regime on YouTube, you or me, we can find right now tens of thousands of videos showing the, the gross human rights violations of this regime. Having 300 observers is not helping us. Two, two weeks ago when they committed the, the massacre in Hule, the residents of Hule contacted the observers for help and the observers just came the next day and were documenting the children under two years old that were cut and, and slaughtered with knives. So 300 is not enough. We need at least at least 5,000 observers to be able to to be in rural areas, in urban areas, in detention centers. And this mission cannot be and sustain its status as an observer mission. This mission needs to be transformed into a peacekeeping force mission. Syrian civilians are in desperate need of protection. This is what we need. We recognize that embassies uh, have been closed, and we recognize that some Western countries have, have uh, taken a stand verbally, at least, against the Assad regime, but it's not enough. As your report has said, MI-24 attack helicopters are being shipped to, the, uh, shipped to the regime. A couple of weeks ago, there was a shipment of $100 million worth of weapons by Russia that were sent to Tartus on the coastal city of, uh, of Syria. So this is the difference. They speak, the Russians speak that they don't, they don't want intervention in Syria. Well, we'll stop talking about interventions once they stop talking, sending their, uh, their, their, their weapons and, uh, and their technology to oppress and repress the Syrian people. Right, Faisal, I want to ask you about that because we've talked to you a couple of times over the last few months about what is happening in Syria. The Russians, of course, against intervention. It could be argued they are, in fact, intervening. Uh, with these attack helicopters that are being sent uh, and also, as you were talking about, shipments to Tartus uh, in the Mediterranean. What is your take on uh, how Moscow has been playing this out and what is your message uh, to the Russian government about how they're doing, what they are doing in Syria? The message is clear. You are siding yourself in the wrong side of history. You are betting on this regime and what is happening is you are helping the destruction of Syria. Diplomacy does not work with these criminals. We, every interview we have been with you or other channels, we have said diplomacy does not work with these murderers. This is a regime in the, in the 80s has committed at least 40,000 cities in my city, the city of Hama. And that was without YouTube and that was without uh, media. Right now, they cannot do it in one shot in a one week, but they are doing it incrementally. 
diplomacy does not work with with this with this regime and the stance the hypocritical stance that they are uh, that they are uh, taking is really uh, despicable no to intervention in syria but yet they send their arms and they send their weapons and they cover them with veto and the sad thing of what is happening is this this case of syria does not apply only for syria because Bashar al-Assad right now is, is really writing the play note for every dictator that exists now and a dictator that is going to come. It's kill your people, repress them, commit rape, commit atrocities, deny everything, promise reform, and blame it on terrorists, and all that under uh, covered by a Russian veto. If we don't hold this regime accountable for its crimes, well, this is going to be the playbook for every dictator to come. Faisal Azam is in Montreal. Thanks for your time, Faisal. Thank you for having me.